It's a beautiful bacon day cookie, Crusaders. <clears throat> the Schwartz and BTS cookie I found are really good for master mode. So specifically World 4-3 is where I started to test them. Doesn't mean that they can't be used in earlier master mode stages, but it's definitely a good test in master mode World 4 because World 4 is where a lot of people seem to be getting stuck. So what we're running specifically, caramel attack toppings on Schwartz, cooldowns, on Wildberry because we want the stuns activating as much as possible. We have high HP with damage resistance for our Dark Cow because we just need the shield removal specifically. We have crit for our cream buff so that we get that high attack and high heal. And then we have cooldown and critical damage for BTS Cookie so that we're getting the fastest activations of healing and stun resistance. So let's take it into battle and show you what happens. Specifically, what's mostly happening is Schwartz is doing similar to what that team lockdown is doing, and that's getting those stuns out. So every time hitting the stuns, stunning the enemy as it is, we get stuns from Wildberry, and it just repeats the cycle. Additionally, we're getting those good debuffs and the shield removals from Dark Cow, so we're getting some good persistence push from Dark Cow going into the battles for those reasons. We're getting those heals and stun resistance from our BTS cookie, and we're getting critical heals from our cream puff every time that the crit hits. So it's not that you're going to get a guarantee of those crits, of course, unless you're running Scythe. But we're running the robes because we want to make sure that our Wildberry and our Schwartz are getting as much stuns as possible. Every time you can stun these enemy AoE waves, you are giving that much more time for your healers to take care of your teammates. And for your team to just overall survive. So as you can see, clearly... A lot of damage is being done, and it's a powerful force that we're dealing with, but at the same time, those stuns are giving the chance for our team to actually stay alive. Now, I'm going to test it with Cream Puff being switched out for Cream Unicorn, just for further damage resistance and the overall critical heals, but the damage is still pretty good on Cream Puff, so we want to make sure that it doesn't take away from that. Now, our big carries are Schwartz and Wildberry, if you were to put like critical toppings or attack toppings on cacao, you could match the damage there too, but it's really up to you how you want to run it. As far as healing done, Cream Puff is actually doing much more healing than the BTS cookie, and that's just because of how much the healing is reduced in these master stages. So that's why it's a still pretty essential run to run Cream Puff for now, but like I said, I'll look into running Cream Unicorn as well as an alternative. But... Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If you're running issues in master mode or you just don't know what team to run with, Summoner Team is still a good team for the early master stages of World 1, World 2, but this team is definitely something that can pack a punch and hit pretty hard against a lot of enemy waves. So I hope this is helpful for you. This is the build that I'm going to be running through and trying to test against the master mode stages. And let me know what your thoughts and your overall output is too. Thank you so much for stopping by and have a wonderful day.